welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series so while i was poking around more in i believe it was an exchange i saw a journal and when i read um, it reminded uh, of how we work at home it was somewhere right there general rules so compliance and management so i was doing all this and you know compliance and management is uh, like all the companies for example at uh, our all of our calls they are recorded and they are recorded for quality or training purposes like uh, they make you listen one of the call or few calls while you're in training but the compliance or uh, quality assurance uh, quality assurance is that they uh, our calls gets reviewed um, by our supervisor so he reviews a few of our calls every month to make sure that how it's speaking to the customer are we listening are we following all the rules statements and are we courteous enough and are we providing them the correct solution or not so like and then uh, they add their notes uh, as well so it's like uh, you being audited and then compliance is like um, some of the calls like uh, for example a customer calls and say hey i was told this and i apologize and then i tell them the what's the accurate information is for example a customer will say hey i was told that uh, spectrum tv app will work on any device any smart device then i apologize and i say maybe the the other agent could not uh, uh, convey it properly um, but these are the sporty devices at the moment it's new it's still a work in progress and it's totally free so you are not being charged if uh, you have cable through us so you know and unless they bought the just the streaming package then they they need to have those devices so you know uh, but then if customers most of them are nice they understand and they let go the other one will say hey i don't know who to believe then I have to just reassure them this is the I'm telling you uh, the correct thing some of them they are the like a very rare percentage of them a light percentage they want to escalate it further at that point we have a procedure pr uh, pr procedure we can transfer them over to somebody senior but then a very tiny portion is that they are they having issues of any kind and there is a certain type of behavior or keywords when they use we transfer them immediately to a supervisor so you see um, in all these scenarios you want to have a copy of all the communication uh, to the customers or so you know what happened and if it comes to an ugly um, turn then you should have all that communication uh, so you can better defend yourself and with compliance some of uh, if you know sec it's security and exchange commission uh, there was a famous uh, bernie sander movie uh, <coughs> So security and exchange commission they overlook all the uh, financial institute so they have a compliance thing to that all the communications normally it's emails uh, you should have a copy so this general rules is about that uh, it it can be applied to a single user multiple user or all of the users basically what it does is journal it means that uh, we we are sending and receiving emails all the time right so all the emails whether it's being sent or received they then exact copy of them being sent to another mailbox now one will argue why the backup is not enough the backup is not enough because if you uh, one of your agent deletes an email the next time the system takes the backup that email gets deleted from the backup as well right or then so it's an exact copy being sent to a mailbox and at when this time uh, only a certain people somebody in the company will decide who gets to have access to that e mailbox 
just for uh, managing purposes and when the time arrives it is handed over to the um, whoever uh, like the authority or you know group or whatever and then they do the audit or review right so if it makes sense so it says send undeliverable general reports to this so basically what happens is you have to have a mailbox that you can send all of them so if it's one user then you know it's uh, maybe a few GB gigabytes worth of mailbox will suffice if it's like <coughs> corporate wise then you see you need a helpful big uh, mailbox so what happens is you set up one email address or a uh, you can set one and all the emails get uh, sent to that one or you get a one-on-one uh, -on -one, like each email has its own other email box for the copying purpose or you know whatever so when I click on it the plus sign it says send general reports to who do you want to send report so it should be a name I can put uh, Ali so and who's the name uh, default default is not good so apply this rule this and specific user or group apply to all messages so either you are sent uh, for example um, there's one user and he is uh, talking back and forth to uh, another you customer or somebody and you want to keep a record of all the emails being you know uh, communicated so you can do the oh, specific user and you select who is this who is the guy who is talking back and forth with them so I don't remember creating this again so let's say it was uh, it's as as line eight you can add him and okay so whoever as as all of the email uh, aslan's emails they will be um, oh that's the next one so you want to uh, here you want to get a copy of what all of his messages whether they are incoming or outbound uh, you want internal messages only that uh, were sent and received internally or external messages that the email that he's sending and receiving from a client outside you can do all messages so now you see the name is journal for aslan h that would be subject and aslan h is being uh, you know journalized or journaled journaled um, for this purpose because you know there might be could be a case and he's a supervisor and he's the one that is following up on that Oh, this is then another important thing I have to oh let's do this so this is the address select address that you select mm. let's get the text mailbox save and hopefully So basically it's saying is that you create a dedicated email inbox for journal items so it should be in place e discovery in whole and now we can go back to save a journal email address can only be a mail user a mail contact or an external address So let's see if I can quickly create it again. What's saying? 
100 and external oh external address so yeah office 365 does not allow you to use an extern internal um, account uh, to be used so you know because if you are uh, sending all the user to this so if each user has a one terabyte account and you so how quickly you can fill that so there's a workaround either you have to use another where it is recipients can I contact mail contact or mail no let's make a mail user So it has to be an external mail address. Is it necessary? No. Hello. In that case, there are no new password. Let's give it a password. So basically, what uh, it's saying is, it said it has to be a mail user so i can try this one let's save it and and go back to the hybrid system is when you have a system both in and out like on the web and Combined management is right here. So now we're going to send it to journal as an H journal reports to journal. So as an H add, and hopefully it should work this time. So I just gave the name here, so hopefully it works. okay it worked so you see uh, it picked up the email address automatically I just ended the name here so but Microsoft really does not want you to use an, an internal office 365 uh, account it has to be an external one so what's uh, gonna happen is that this can quickly fill if you uh, if you select all users and you know all of their copies being sent to this one so you really I just really want to make a video out of that because I want to do first hand and learn uh, while on video so basically <clears throat> I read a lot about journal and all that uh, so Microsoft wants you to either create a local exchange server and then you know you can have a huge hard disk and fill it up with all the emails or you have to have a separate uh, uh, office 365 account so some like uh, all of them if you have the dot com they buy the dot net as well and that they use that dot net for such purposes or they you know they yeah and uh, some of them like they make uh, sub domains for each site but that's a different but dot net is mostly when they like run two different things so basically what's going to happen is now whatever the email that's being uh, sent and received by aslan will be delivered to this one as well so even if aslan deletes it they are still there just in case if for example since this will be an outside source if this one goes down for example it was gmail.com or our the other ihme dot net or dot biz or dot info anything and for some reason that server goes down and it this email address is inaccessible 
they are sending emails but they are not being delivered so Microsoft what uh, Microsoft gonna uh, send them to this address so they will pop up here so you have the copy here it's just like a fail switch what happens if they both become inaccessible at the same time because right now they're on the same account so what added, what happens is Microsoft uh, keeps them in queue for two days and somebody will contact you uh, possibly by phone or, or not email because email I hope not through email because if email is down and they figure it out so if you don't resolve it they're gonna disable this uh, rule basically so this is how journal works and this is the idea behind it uh, it wasn't a very exciting uh, video but it is what it is so you can create more you can edit it here and you see you can add it and you can maybe s specific user group <coughs> or all messages every email in and out of your uh, system uh, will go there so if this video has helped you please rate comment like subscribe and share thank you and you have a good day good night